Hello, welcome back to my Flight Simulator 2024 guide series. Um, you find me again in the PC-12, uh, currently paused, holding about 10,000 feet on our way to Leeds Bradford Airport. Um, this video I'm going to go over the basic fl uh, autopilot setting to the PC-12 and I'm going to show you how to fly a landing with the autopilot. So let's get straight into it. I will go over to this view and zoom out a little bit. So as stated in the um, G1000 guide, the autopilot pilot display at the top is kind of the same. So going from left to right for these green uh, labels here, we have the left and right navigation mode. So currently in nav mode, so following the flight plan. And we have the autopilot is armed and the yaw dampener is armed because they're both in green. And then, then we have the kind of the up down mode. So currently holding altitude. Um, this is our autopilot kind of area here, settings. So here we can turn the flight director on and off. Obviously can't turn it off while we've got the autopilot armed. We can arm the, arm the autopilot with this button here. We can turn the yaw dampeners on and off here. Uh, we can decide if it's going to turn left or right here with the heading mode. This is where we could set our minimums for our flight plan. So we're doing an ILS landing. We could check on the chart for the ILS. And find out that our minimums are... So this one here, 900. So I would scroll this to 900. You can see here it is telling us the minimums. We're moving along one, we've got our, um, our kind of up down or altitude mode. So this is to change altitude with V-speed. This is to change it with flight level change. This is to hold altitude. This is to arm the V-nav. So I'm gonna arm the V-nav now. You can see here it's changed that into V-path and it is aiming for 4,000 feet because this is in blue. Our next set of buttons is the speed reference mode. So this button toggles on the auto throttle. So we can see it's got auto throttle is limited. Um, it's currently dictated by the FMS. If we scroll this knob to manual, we can then scroll the little knob. And you can see here it's changing what reference speed it's going to fly the aircraft at. So we'll keep that in. Scroll this knob back to FMS. So the FMS decides. The next set of button buttons is the kind of the left right mode. So currently in nav mode, so it's following the flight path. This is heading or track mode. So this will follow the blue heading or track bug. You can see pink bug here spins when we turn this. So if it was in heading mode, it would follow that. Uh, this limits our bank angle. And this is to kind of arm the approach mode. Back to the normal view to show all that kind of in action. I am going to unpause the simulator. You can see here I will arm the altitude hold, hold mode. Use this dial to select the altitude. So you can see this number changing here. So if I wanted to go down to 9,000 feet, I'd select 9,000 on the altitude hold. I'm scrolling up. And then I could either press V speed. And that would put us into V speed mode. And I would use this button here to determine what vertical speed we drop at. So that's changing this. So currently it's aiming for 600 feet per minute. Or I could hit flight level change and it would drop us at 230 knots to the required altitude to 8,000 feet. Again, I could change that speed by changing this to manual. I'm changing this and then it's going to change the speed at which it will let us drop at. Change that back into FMS. And exactly the same for ascending could choose to ascend to 8,500 feet and hit flight level change mode and this way the auto, fro auto throttle is going to let us ascend at 230 knots to 8,500 feet or I could choose v-speed and choose what kind of speed in feet per minute. Exactly the same with this, currently in heading mode so if I scroll this heading bug it will automatically turn the, turn the plane to where this heading bug is aiming at this I'm going to hit nav and it will now follow our flight path so I will get us set up for a approach and landing now at Leeds Bradford and I'll show you how to do that with the autopilot so here we are um, we are on the chart for ILS for Leeds um, we're just about reaching this point where we need to be 3000 above our next hard altitude limit is ILF 72, which is 3,000 feet. So you can see we've got VNAV armed. 
It recognizes as a vertical um, an altitude that we need. And it's armed in white here. So hopefully when it gets to this X, T or D in front of us, it automatically descends us to 3,000 feet. Um, I am currently manually um, setting the throttle just because with the auto throttle, when it goes to lower speeds, it keeps ramping it up and down. It's just a little bit buggy at the moment. Um, but you just do it automatically aim for about 150 knots when you're kind of on this outbound for your turn. Basically, a lot's going to happen at the same time, so I'll go through it now. When I get kind of round to about this point in the turn here, I will arm approach mode, and that will arm the localizer and the glide slope. So there we go. It's now doing the turn in. I'll drop landing gear at this point. You can see here can be dropped at below 240 knots. We're well below 240 knots. That will slow us down a little bit again. I'll just add a little bit of throttle just to keep the speed kind of around 140, 150. And once landing gear is down and stable, I will drop first notch of flap. There you go, first notch of flaps dropping. We're getting kind of to the top of that arc of the turn, so I'm going to hit the approach mode here. You can see it's armed the localizer to try pick up the localizer, and it's armed the vertical navigation and the glide slope here. So hopefully when it picks them up, they will go into green, and it will actually um, activate them on the autopilot. And that will automatically pick up the glide slope and take us in. All we then have to manage is the throttle. Like I say, I haven't actually tried landing with the auto throttle yet. Uh, I will give it a go. Um, the next video that's going to come out is going to be a full flight. Um, I'm going to give it a test before that. And if it works for that, I am going to put that into the full flight and show you how to do it with the auto throttle. Um, there we go. It's uh, activated the localizer. So it's picked up the localizer to line us up the runway. And it's activated the glide slope. Now all we have to do is manage the throttle. Um, like I say, you're probably aiming for about 130 knots, and then you want to cross the room with maybe at 100 knots. Um, this does have the reverse thruster, so we can stop quite quickly on short runways, so that's, uh, that's an option. It's tricky to get used to, but once you kind of get used to how to use it, remembering that once you're in the reverse thruster mode, if you full throttle, it's full throttle backwards. You need to make sure you go out of that mode. Hit B to sync up my... Barometer there, so minimums for this are, we set it at 720, so 720 degrees on the um, altimeter, we need to be able to see the runway and see some indication for landing. If we open up this, there's normally a number after that, it's RA, which is radio altimeter, if we had a radio altimeter, possibly we're doing this plane. Uh, this one here, we could set it for the radio altimeter of... 500 and that is actually beaming down a signal to the floor and back up um, to tell us uh, the distance actually above the terrain below us. Putting that down to 500. There we go. Yeah, so for the landing here, localizer is activated. Oh, pilot's activated. Your dampener's activated. Glide slope is also activated, so the plane is automatically flying us in at this point, down to the runway. We have confirmed landing gear down. We are confirmed at least one notch of flaps. If I wanted to, I could go some more notch of flaps. Quite a big runway at Leeds Bradford, so I am happy with just one notch of flaps and the uh, reverse thruster. See in front of us here, here is the uh, the runway indication, so we don't have to worry about minimums. We have can definitely see the runway. Um, so we are cleared for landing. Um, if I was hooked up to the ATC at this point, it would obviously, I'd go through the whole ATC procedure of declaring I'm coming in for landing, declaring on final, waiting for the clearance for the landing, if not holding. But um, there was just um, a lot going on on the ATC when I was setting up to record this video. So I uh, basically have just switched it onto a different channel. There we go. So I'm going to drop the speed again. And uh, aiming for whatever this number is, because that's what the auto throttle will be aiming for. So that's 110 knots. So I'm just dropping the throttle. Let it go down to 110 knots and glide in at that. Again, like I say, without the auto throttle, all you are managing here is the throttle. We are set up in line with the runway with the localizer and set up to pitch down to the runway with the glide slope. So there's not too much to think about at this point.
now it's just a lot of just waiting around and just maintaining that the plane is doing what you're expecting the plane to do. speed up the sim right here to get us in a little bit closer. I keep these videos under 20 minutes to make it as easy as possible for people to learn. I'll we'll slide back down there. Coming up to a thousand feet, hands back on the controls, should have been on at all times, but you know, it's a simulator, you like to get comfy, maintain that throttle, 500 feet is minimum, that's when I'll disengage the autopilot. Minimum is always last point to disengage the autopilot, don't feel like you don't have to disengage it at that point, if you want you can do it earlier. For instance, I'm going to disengage it now Autopilot. and fly this in, increasing the throttle, decreasing the throttle, throttle to idle, okay, as lined up with that runway as you can, and just pull back and flare. There you go, bounced a little bit, onto the brakes, reverse thrusters armed, and braking, see how quickly it stops there. At this point, back to idle thrust, put on the parking brakes, and I will just check down here that we are in normal thruster mode. Reset the view, disengage the parking brakes, and I can taxi off the runway here. I'm just going to dine this plane, it's beautiful. There we go, and off the runway. I'll stop us there, he says, engage the parking brake, but yeah that's basic functionality of the autopilot in the uh, PC-12 and how to perform a landing with the autopilot. Next video out will be a full flight in this plane so I'll go in depth into inserting a flight plan, flying, taking off, flying the flight plan and um, landing with whichever kind of landing procedure we select, so yeah. I hope this helps some of you out and I will uh, see you in the next one.